he will punish everybody that didn't vote for him. Let me tell y'all how I know this. I know it because I know what mental illness looks like. So I'm going to go on the record and say she certainly knows what mental illness looks like. After just that little bit of that video clip, you can tell that woman needs some help. Supposedly, she's a famous actress. I don't know her name. I've never seen her before. But after I saw this, it made me realize that this is part of the problem that's happening today. It's people like this, who again is supposedly famous, is spewing that kind of hate towards one person, and people are actually listening to it. She had her take on what's going to happen if Trump gets back in the White House, and it's so unbelievable that I'm not even sure why she's allowed to even roam the streets free, because she has serious serious mental illness problems that need to be taken care of right away. So here's what she had to say on an interview somewhere. This is what's going to happen when Donald Trump gets back in the White House. If that man gets in, as soon as he takes the oath, he will have generals walk down the steps of the Capitol. He will take a hammer and break the glass where the Constitution is, and he will tear it up in our faces mm. and say, now, I'm the king of the world. You will bow down. He will punish everybody that didn't vote for him. Let me tell y'all how I know this. I know it because I know what mental illness looks like. Mm. That mania is unstoppable. See, this motherfucker's. Mm. He didn't come to. And that's the message that she's sending to Americans, probably specifically black Americans, because again, I don't know who this person is, but from what I've looked up, I can't even find her name, but she's supposed to be some famous black actress. And if anybody is listening to any word coming out of her mouth, they too need to go seek mental health treatment. Who came up with this idea that Trump is going to anoint himself king and then punish everyone who doesn't vote for him. You heard her say, as soon as he gets back in, the first thing he's going to do is march down the steps with generals, and then they're going to give him a hammer, and he's going to smash the glass and take the Constitution and rip it up into pieces. What kind of illness do you have to have or what kind of crazy dreams are you having that that will actually be real? Anyone who has a half a brain should see that that woman has serious, serious problems. Not only does she have stage four Trump derangement syndrome, she should be in a hospital somewhere being looked after 24 hours a day because I don't know who's allowing her to roam around thinking the way she does, but it's my opinion that she's dangerous. She's allowed to say ridiculous things like that and nobody's concerned about it. She's obviously has, she obviously has mental health problems. There's no doubt about it. Bipolar or whatever. There's so many different things out there. But to say that he's going to take the Constitution and rip it up into pieces and anoint himself king? Are you kidding me right now? And we've heard other people say this, specifically 
those windbags on The View. They all think that Trump's going to take office. He's going to stop punishing people. He's going to take all different groups of minorities and put them in camps. We've heard them say it. I'm not making that up. But now this one, where the generals are going to take them to rip the Constitution up, this is how some Democrats think, unfortunately. They really believe that if Trump gets back in office, he's not going to fix our country. He's going to make it worse than Joe Biden has made it. And we all know that's ridiculous. See, the problem here is, and I like to say this every time I talk about it, these Democrats, these liberals, these Trump derangement syndrome people will not admit that for four years they had no worries. They didn't have to worry about wars, finances, inflation, none. They didn't have to worry about climate change or climate change protesters gluing themselves to the roads. We've seen that since Joe Biden has become president, because that's all he talks about. We gotta save the climate. Everything's gotta be electric. No more gas powered anything. A country can't survive like that. But of course, according to this woman, Trump's not even gonna care about that. He's gonna become the king there's never going to be another election, and he's going to punish everybody who didn't vote for him. Well, I got news for her. If she does a little research, she will see that African Americans and Latinos right now in this country support Donald Trump more so than they ever did Joe Biden. And they do that because they're hurting now. They can't make any money. They can't survive because of Bidenomics. It's a joke. And that's the reality of it. I mean, who, who even allowed this person to speak and publicize this video? I'm glad I found it to show you what mental illness really is. Because I'm quite sure that she's a big supporter of the LGBTs and the Qs, too. If Trump's going to be king, then she's got to support men who say they're women, right? It just seems obvious. But this is the kind of thing that we have to deal with day in and day out. From now up until November, it's probably only going to heat up more than that. But these people need serious, serious help. They're not getting help if they're being allowed to go out there in public and say ridiculous shit like that. So I'm glad I got to show it to you and I'm glad I found it. So if you can share this video with as many people possible to show them what is actually out there, the propaganda that's out there and the things that they're saying and they want people to believe because it's outrageous that someone can actually think that of one person who had our country squared away for four years but they think he's going to come in and do the total opposite. It's ridiculous. And these are the kind of people that are destroying our country. Anybody who thinks like that needs to just go down in a basement somewhere and stay there and never come out.